top of the key now, Kedrick Bibby. Skips out over here to the near side wing to Rob Sanders. Sanders briefly drives inside and then pulls back, gives it to Mansberger. Mansberger with a quick pass now back out to Mansberger. Shot up for three, and it's off the iron, no good. Asia grabs the rebound. Yeah, and so far, I mean, at least in the first position for the Cougars, you can see where they're trying to rely on just their individual talents and not so much the, uh, the team camaraderie. It's been the opposite for the Maple Leafs to start this half. And the Maple Leafs are keeping things going on the defensive side. They send the ball scattering out of bounds. Kedrick Bibby was able to send the ball out of bounds, almost corralled it. He's going to have a substitution here. Greg Johnson coming in for Rob Sanders. And they're going to have a throw in over here on the near side from Mull. Mull gets it into Asia. Asia fakes the three and then drives inside on Kedrick Bibby along the end line. It's right underneath the bucket. Puts up a shot. It's blocked by Kedrick Bibby. How about that? Greg Johnson skips it up to a wide open Mansbarger. Mansbarger back to Greg Johnson. And, and the Goshen offense will reset. Yeah, Bibby's got to be one of the best defenders that the Maple Leafs have on any level. That man can get up and absolutely swat a ball when need be. Does it right there. Great job being clean with it as well. Lash Ramirez, top of the key, gives bounce pass inside to Michael Johnson, corrals it, spins, puts up a shot on Asia, and it's blocked. And that's the first one that Michael Johnson has not been able to sink all night. And uh, looks like it's going to go out of bounds on the Cougars, so Maple Leafs will retain possession. 18-18 to play here in the contest. 50 to 42, Leafs lead by eight. Clearing up the court a little bit over by the inbounds area, making sure everyone's safe out there on the court, which is great to see. You got five seconds left on the shot clock because the ball went nowhere near the rim, so the Maple Leafs are going to have to inbound it and get off a shot quickly. With the inbounds pass is going to be Greg Johnson. Got just one second to throw it in. He gets it in to Ryan Mansbarger. His shot up from three in the corner is no good. Grabbing the rebound and taking it coast to coast and blocking it again is Kedrick Bibby. What a play and a defensive board from Greg Johnson. Excellent defense there by the Maple Leafs. Back Greg Johnson to back takes it across blocks. the timeline. Back to back blocks for the Maple Leafs. Just incredible defense going on right now. Mansbarger drives inside, stops, pops, jumps, shot in. 52 to 42. Leafs lead by 10. 1749 to play here in the contest. Driving inside now is going to be McKeeman. He skips it out near side wing. Back to McKeeman. Wide open for three. Shot is up and he drills it. That's Mull who puts that one down. It's 52 to 45. Leafs lead cut down to seven with 17.30 to play. Driving inside is Kedrick Bibby. Puts up a floater. Shot no good. Asia grabs the easy board. Cushingberry taking it across the time. Lead is at the top of the key. Drives inside on Greg Johnson. Shot up good. And he's going to go for the end one, 52 to 47. Just like that, things have swung an entirely different direction and the Leafs lead has been cut down to just five. Yeah, and this is that point where you got to start to realize that you can't give them the easy opportunity. Cushenberry on that one splits the defense as a wide open lane. And then at that point, I, I get you go up and contest the shot, but don't do it in a manner where you are going to pick up a foul and give them an easy bucket. At the line is Cushingberry, and he continues his perfect night. He's 9 for 9 at the free throw line, makes it a 52 to 48 game. Lease lead has been cut down to 4, 17 15 to play here in the contest. Sanders takes it across the timeline for the Leafs, leaves it off for Ryan Mansbarger at the volleyball line. Inside gives goes to Michael Johnson. He's at the top of the key, traveling along the arc now, gives it to Mansbarger. Kickball. That one sent, gets sent sky high off of Bailey's foot. Maple Leafs will have the inbounds pass over here on the near side. Could be Kedrick Bibby to throw it in. Leafs still holding on to a four point lead, 17 02 to play. Ryan Mansbarger takes it, gets it across the volleyball line on the inbounds pass, leaves it off in the far side for Elias Ramirez. He gets out of some trouble, skips it out to a wide open Kedrick Bibby in the near side corner. Five seconds to play on the shot clock. Rob Sanders stops, puts up a shot. It's no good. Going to the ground and picking up a foul are the Maple Leafs. It's going to be on Rob Sanders. And that's his fourth on the afternoon. Dangerous to have Sanders out there now with four fouls, so they're going to put Gabriel McQuay in instead. They're cleaning up the court out there, but the score, 52-48. to 48, Leafs lead by four. Their lead was 10 just moments ago. It's now four, 16-40 to play in the contest. Isha has it on the far side wing. He drives inside and puts up a shot. It's no good, but he's fouled. 
Foul's gonna be on Kedrick Bibby. Bibby picks up his second. And Asia's gonna go to the line. The Cougars still perfect on the night so far. 15 for 15 at the free throw line. It's really been one of their saving graces in this contest. Asia's shot is up and good. Make it 16 for 16. Three point ball game, one possession game for the first time since the 10 minute mark of the first half. 52 to 49, Leafs lead by three. 16, 34 to go. Asia's second shot at the line is up and good. 52 to 50. Leafs holding on to now just two point lead. Taking it across the timeline is Gabriel McQuay. McQuay backing down Cushing Berry, driving inside, leaves it off for Michael Johnson. Johnson can't handle it, it goes behind his back. And easily taking that one away is going to be McKeeman. McKeeman gives it off for Cushing Berry on the near side wing, leaves it off for Asia. Back to McKeeman. Excuse me, that's Cushing Berry for three, and that's nothing but net. And just like that, the Leafs are trailing 53 to 52. The luck had to run out sometime. 53 to 52 is the score. Leafs trail by one, 16-10 to go here in the contest. We'll take a quick timeout. Be back with more on 91.1 The Globe. <laughs> 